Hello PA, this is Oliver. Welcome to my final segment of this year's PA News. As we're approaching to the end of the school year, final exam is coming up. So, in this segment, I'll be talking about some tips that you can prepare for your finals. Uh, I have English exam and health exam today. So, like past, I believe, I don't think it count as uh, like final exam. It's actually the AP exam. So, like for AP calculus BC, I just like using a whole day watching like a YouTube YouTube video about like the Taylor series or the series or some like parametric equations or something. And um, yeah, that's probably the hardest and the most nervous test that's that me like feel. Yeah. Uh, definitely chemistry because it's a mixture of maths and all more other subjects, so it's going to be much more challenging than the other ones. Uh, so I think like for some classes like history or health, like their textbook is very important. It's just literally have everything you need on it. So I think uh, maybe for probably for reviewing the subject, you you, just, you only need is just to read through your textbook before you're having the test. Yeah. Um, definitely don't join clubs that consume too much time. Um, neither should you consume any. Neither could you join any other clubs that which well, especially take a lot of time to finish up things during the week that is the finals, and especially ones that might actually have much more bigger importance to everyone else to help the club. Um, right now, I'm teaching English, English, and broadcast news. Well, I guess for in any English class, we're looking for a lot of detail in their writing, and they provide. Good examples, good evidence. Um, depending on the question, um, so more for like reading questions, I want them to support their answers with a lot of detail. Um, for grammar questions, I'm looking for accuracy. I'm looking for um, are they using are they using the grammar correctly? So it just kind of depends on what what they're being tested on. Oh, so one tip. One thing that's helped me as a student to to prepare for final exams is I try to predict what possible questions will be on it. So even if there's a study guide, I, I know teachers will try to um, write questions in a way that uh, you know might might not be exactly the way it's worded on the study guide. So I just try to predict what's going to be on it, and I try to write possible answers to questions or. Uh, types of types of uh, answers that the teacher is looking for so almost like um, when you're preparing try to take the test ahead of time by um, writing answers that might come up on the study guide or might come up on the final exam thank you for everyone's great tips i'm sure that's gonna help me a lot that's here for this year's p news see you guys next year <laughs>